guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and in today's video, we're gonna be setting up a brand new saltwater aquarium. This video is for anybody trying to set up a new tank on a budget, and we're gonna head to Top Shelf Aquatics and set it up there. So I'll see you guys when we get there. But before we get into the video of setting up the tank, I thought I would just give you a little update on my dad's tank, what's been happening. Um, we did set up the new lights. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. Um, just the adjustment of getting to radions, I think we turned them up too high because some of the Montes started to fade color like there um, and this one up there. Also our Walt Disney right there. I don't know if this is from the lights, but it just completely bleached out. We tried to save it by cutting off the live pieces and gluing it onto a new plug. And it just completely uh, bleached out. I'll pull up a video of what it looked like before. And we honestly don't really know what happened. It just kind of bleached out completely, but I'm assuming it's, we, we just thought it may be from the lights or we don't really know. It could have been something else that happened in the tank. But other than that, all the other corals are looking fine. Um, nothing else really changed. Um, maybe the corals look a little brighter and stuff from the light, but everything else looks pretty good. Um, it was just kind of those Montes that kind of bleached out in color, and then that Walt Disney just completely bleached out, which is crazy. I don't even know what happened. Maybe wondering what is this and why is it here? This is a mirror. Um, my dad put it here because the copper band is eating um, the feeding tentacles of this giant trachea. This thing's normally huge. Uh, but he's been eating the little tentacles, uh, feeding tentacles. So we put this here just to kind of scare him away. Hopefully prevent him from eating those a little bit. We're either going to have to sadly get, give away the copper band, like bring him back, or give away the trachea. So I'm not really too sure which one we're going to do. But um, let me know what you would do if you would get rid of this beautiful trachea. Um, or if you'd get rid of the beautiful giant copper band. Yeah, let me know. Davis? Oh, hey, Colson. I'm looking at this beautiful tank. I love fish tanks. And I... But they're so expensive nowadays. I don't know how to like get one for cheap. Do you know? I yeah, mean, here. Take the camera. Follow me. Right here, we have a 15 gallon all-in-one tank by Innovative Marine. Um, on sale right now for only 100 bucks. You cannot beat that at all. It comes with everything you need, the pump, the filtration, everything just to get it started. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to set that up. So let's get into it. Okay, first we need the tank. Guess what light are we gonna be using? Well, luckily we have this Kessel that I have here that was left over from the old display that was in front of the store, so we're gonna use that. Kessel Light is the cheapest option we have here at Top Shelf Aquatics. It's right here. Um, it's $140, so add that to the total. Um, we already have one on hand, so for us it's technically free, but um, it would be $140. Another really good light option would be the Primes. Um, they're a little bit more, they're 250 but I would say it'd be worth the money um, just because you can use it an app on your phone. You can time everything, you can change all of the spectrum. Spectrum's a little bit better and the spread's better. So I would recommend getting the AI Prime. Davis has one on his 10 gallon, right Davis? It does great, yes. And his tank looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, uh, let's set this up. So this is where we are going to be putting the tank. Uh, we just cleared off of space on the back counter. So if we come out here, uh, when you walk in, there it is right there. And you know, if you do shop at Top Shelf Aquatics, you can come in and see it. Um, you can buy everything that is to set it up. I'll link the um, website down in the description. Uh, they're not selling the innovative tanks on the website yet, but you can definitely buy them in person, so make sure you swing by. Got Davis sitting up the light on here. Screw um, in the back so screws. The cool thing about these innovative tanks is they already have the pump. They already come with a sock. Um, and then that's pretty much all you really need and then we might add an extra pump in here eventually But we're gonna kind of try to keep it as cheap and simple as possible um, Just to show you how you can do it at home um, and have the cheapest way possible This is a what do we call this? This is the module for the Kessel So when we plug it in you can actually control it all with that so you can change the intensity the color um, It's not as good like I said as the primes with the app you can really just change it from blue to white and turn up the intensity, but it is a really good light and it'll still grow coral very well. Um, so don't get me wrong, this is a really good light. I'm not saying it's a bad light. No, it'll it's grow, a phenomenal light. It is a phenomenal light. light. It'll grow coral very well. The next thing you need for your reef tank is rock and sand. I recommend live sand. Here at Top Shelf, we have two options. We have Reef Sand and Fiji Pink for live sand. Um, personally, I think we're gonna go with uh, the Fiji Pink. Davis, what are you doing? We're gonna go with the Fiji Pink. I, I got the Fiji Pink. Uh, just a 10 pound bag. 
rock options. We have a bunch of options here. We have the um, Carib Sea Rock, the Cornerstone Rock, and we have Marco's Rock over there. Marco's is dry rock. These are all live. So we're going to be using a mix between of some of the shapes and arches. And uh, Carib Sea actually makes these really cool life rock um, options here where you can just buy the box and put the whole box in there. So we have this tree. Um, I like that tree. We like the tree. However, there is a piece in there that we wanted to switch out with one of the shapes and arches. So that's what we did. We're gonna grab um, this one. We're gonna grab one of them and then we're gonna build it up. So yeah, let's head back over to the tank. Side trick, dab your sand. That way you don't get that all that dirty water in your sand. Then cut it open. Now I wouldn't rinse it. Um, since it is live sand, you wanna keep that beneficial bacteria in there, but we're gonna do it a other way. We're gonna put it in a bucket. So we're actually gonna rinse it with salt water, so that way it still stays alive, but you don't get all that gunk that's in there. It's probably really loud in here, but um, we have a salt water. This is the vat we have. Uh, we're just gonna be pouring salt water in here. I let it overflow a bunch of times, and that way it cleans itself out, but it's still, um, it's still getting beneficial bacteria. It's still salt water, so we're just gonna clean it, basically. All right, rock time. Rock. Yep. Let's open it up. Stick. Okay, when building your rock structure, there's really two things you want to keep in mind. Is that you want to be able to put your hand around at least the three sides of the glass. The back wall doesn't matter too much. Sometimes I like to keep it to where you can get your hand back there as well. Second thing is you just want to be uh, making sure where you like it. Um, so it's kind of just like a creative thing, aquascaping in general. Um, just do it how you like it, because if you don't like it, you're not going to like the tank. So yeah. This is what we came up with. Um, I like it. There's a lot of places you want to keep in mind You want to where you're going to be putting coral. So there's a lot of places for a highlight medium light and low light as well. And there's a lot of caves for some fish to hide in as well. Now we have to add water to the tank. We're using reef crystals, which cost about $1.35 a gallon, and we're gonna be using about 15 gallons. So Davis is gonna pour it on the rock to try not to disturb the sand as much as possible. Obviously, it's gonna do it anyway. But no, it already looks pretty clear because uh, we did clean it before we're putting it in the sand. So we're putting, before we're putting the sand in the tank. Okay, now that we got water in the tank, um, it is time for the tank to cycle. This usually takes around two weeks. Um, we're gonna jumpstart the cycle by using beneficial bacteria like Microbacter 7. Um, we also use live sand and some of the rock that was already in the water, so it shouldn't be too long of a cycle. We're gonna add some Microbacter 7 into the tank. No, not, not like that, Davis, like oh, pour it in the oh, tank. Oh. Um, for a 15 gallon, you can just do probably a cap full. We're not gonna be putting anything in it today, like fish or coral. That's just because the tank does have to cycle for at least two weeks. We're gonna test it and get back to it within two weeks. So make sure you guys turn on your post notifications and subscribe, so that way you can see more videos on this. We're gonna be doing videos on putting fish in it and coral in it as well. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned. Now it's time to feed some coral. Oh my gosh, dude.
Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions about setting up your reef tank at home, be sure to leave them in the comments. I do read every single comment, so I'll try to reply to all of them if I can. Make sure you turn on your post notifications, so that way you can see when we add fish and coral to this tank. And I'm really excited to see where this tank goes. But yeah, till next time, peace.